Ramblin' Rusty here. I am at Camp Overlook. This is the ladies division right here. They have set up their shelters. They cooked their own breakfast this morning. One lady already told me, I started the fire this morning. That is great. Okay, this is Ramblin' Rusty. I'm here at uh, Camp Overlook, and uh, we're gonna take, take a few interviews here about what's going on. And uh, you'll start out here with this young man. Give him, give him your name, and uh, you start telling him about some activity you did today. Go ahead and finish it up. I'm Zach Mace, and I was just telling you this morning we did this activity where we had to make a bridge across the ravine and all we had was a cargo net that was about 30 feet long and 15 feet wide and four ropes. So we had to get our whole team across and we couldn't touch the ground at all in between this ravine and there was a caution tape on our side of the bank that if we touched it we had penalty time added to our overall time. PH said it was going to explode but it didn't. We touched it a few times. And so in total we did it in about 34 minutes but with a two minute penalties of added times from touching the bottom of the ravine when the rope would sag and hitting the, the caution tape a few times. All right. He said uh, we did it below average though. We did so. it below average. All right, anybody else want to tell us some things that they've been doing today? Uh, give me your name and, and uh, maybe where you're from and then tell me what activity you'd like to talk about. Okay, um, I'm Salome Tembo. And I was born in Zambia, but I live in Maryland currently. So today, like Zach mentioned, we did this team building activity where we're supposed to build a bridge. But something that we did after we went to the CAF, some of us helped clean up, but me and some other people played some ping pong, which was fun too because we had the opportunity to let loose, just have fun, and yeah. It was a good experience. Right. Anything else besides building bridge? Is that the only thing you've done while you're here? Oh, I thought you were talking about today. Oh, anything. Oh, anything. Um, oh, this is one activity we did yesterday, uh, the wall. It was very exciting. It was, it was a good experience because a lot of the girls are just laughing and nervous too. But the big, strong guys... Um, <laughs> Who, who is that? That was Mason and who else? Oh, no, no, no. Uh, <laughs> yes, Mason, but we're talking about Avery here. Avery lifted the girls up and threw them down. All right. <laughs> well, yeah. They were caught. They were caught, of course, by Cody. By Cody and Zach. It was just, it was a very fun, it was a very fun activity. All right, good experience. All right, anybody else want to talk about something else? All right, oh, I'm not hand that back, back to Mason. So, uh, I'm Mason Lowe, and I'm from Norfolk, Virginia, Virginia Beach area. Um, so, yesterday, before we did the wall, was this, like, log thingy. It was like a teeter-totter type log thingy. And so, we were split up into two teams, right? Team one, team two. And we were supposed to line up everyone on the log on each side. And then there was, like, a little section in the middle where we could not pass. And the goal of that was we had to try and get the other person, like the other team, off of the log. Okay. And there were a few people who stepped on the line, like on that little section, and that is an automatic out or off, rather. But yeah, that was pretty fun. Uh, hello, my name is Avery Brown. I'm from Maryland. I'd say one of my, my favorite parts was doing the devotionals in the morning and the evening, just hearing the speakers talk very passionately about the end times, and it brings some scarcity to some minds, but also knowing how everything ends and knowing that Jesus is coming back to save us and his angels are protecting us, and sometimes the reasons we wonder, like, why are we experiencing so much hardship, but it's the um, thing that I'm reading right now says that it's preparing our souls for peace, so I'm just very grateful that Jesus cares about us, loves us, and cares so much that he wants to give us peace in the midst of a world that doesn't have any. Okay, I'm Jonathan Pelot. Um, I don't know what else there's to say about me. Where am I from? I'm from Maryland, lived in, in Kenya for two years, and been at SCA for 
the past three years. Um, what I've enjoyed here at Senior Survival so far is um, the simplicity of it all. You wake up, you get your food, you cook it over a fire, and you uh, go to another fire around a campfire, you sing songs, you um, read about what's in God's word. And it's just, it's just so simple. You go and you're just enjoying time with people and it's, it's great. Well, That's, that is good. Favorite. All right, anyone else want to say, all right, take the mic back there. And I, and I hope it's working because uh, <laughs> uh, the first group that I had this morning, they're rather upset with me because I gave them my camera and they had a lot of fires that were built. But you know what I forgot to do? Put the little card in there. All right, t tell me your name. And I'm Mia, and I'm from Maryland. And what I enjoyed the most was last night, after like we sang all the songs and stuff, um, the moon came up, and it was really big. And we all just kind of sat there in like silence. And it was just really nice to look, and it was just beautiful. And you know what the moon is called? It's called a blue moon. Oh, yeah, the blue moon. Do you know why it's called a blue moon? Nope. Does anyone know why? And uh, it's, it's uh, not that rare. A blue moon is the second moon in a month. So which month will never have a blue moon? February. Because February. about every 28 days, that's when it changes. Okay, this is Ramblin' Rusty. I'm here at Camp Overlook. And we have some young people here that uh, are sitting down here and wanted to talk a while. And I said, uh, they're gonna tell me a little bit about their experiences already. They came Wednesday, and maybe some of you can tell about camping, some of you can tell about the eating, some about cooking, everything else. Go ahead, give your name, say it into the mic. Okay, my name is Ariana Anderson, and um, I have learned how to build a fire. Um, I've learned how to find uh, species and plants that I can eat. Um, this is the first time I've gone camping before, especially in a hammock, without a shower. <laughs> this is the longest time I've not taken a shower. Um, yeah. And, and you got people sitting next to you even. That's even great. Yeah. <laughs> okay, next. Give, give me your name and, and some of the things that you've done here. My name is Iona. Um, and some of the things that we've done here is we got to cook our breakfast and dinners over the fire, which is new for a lot of us. This is also the first time I've slept outside in a hammock. I've slept outside before, but it was on the ground. Um, and I think the hammock, that was pretty fun. And then, yeah, building our own fires and just, we got to do a lot of cool stuff. You all had some beautiful weather here. No we rain. We have. And, 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 and uh, were anybody get cold last night it yeah. got down to the 40s yeah. maybe almost low 40s here in the mountains yeah, it's but, uh, really uh, uh, so you've slept down on the ground before and everything <laughs> cooking uh, what are the things besides of course I was here they they know what I do and I'd just come up here and have fun but uh, what are some of the other activities all right <laughs> Well, I was going to answer something else before. Uh, All right, go ahead. Alex Cuellar. All right. That is me. Um, some, um, the food. The food was very good. I Even the food it. you cooked? Yes. <laughs> it, 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 especially. <laughs> but also, uh, kind of the opposite of Iona, uh, I had slept outside like in a hammock before and in a tent before, but I've never just slept outside just on the ground. So, oh yeah. The reason why I have to do that is because my hammock broke. So, yeah. So, uh, what did you put down for padding? A uh, tarp. Is that it? And a little blanket. Okay. And then I have the sleeping bag and a blanket that I sleep All right, with. fine. And, uh... So, uh, so dealing with that, so uh, some of the things, you know, because since most, most of you uh, that came here brought hammocks, we didn't go into mm -hmm. how to uh, put uh, something down for soft and get you a little bit off the ground. 
Okay, anyone over here want to come and get in the vlog and tell about your experiences or not? No, thank you. Okay, no, thank you. Okay. Hey, uh, you want to come on over here? Get on the other side so I can see you. What do you have in your hand? Show them what you have. What is it? Axe. I don't know how to say anything. It's, it's called a tomahawk. That's what we call a tomahawk. It looks like an axe. It works like an axe, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Tell me your name and what, what, what you've done here. Um, my name is Gabriel Martin. And here and I've been trying to start a fire. And Had you ever started one before without matches or a lighter? No. No? I think like my first time. Well, great. And it worked. You had a pretty good fire going over there. Yeah. It was, it was fun. It was nice. Actually, because I was like scared because the fire, because like the fire, <laughs> I burned my leg the last year. That's why. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, that's not good. So that's why, like, I was kind of scared. And how, how did you like sleeping out? I don't like. Had you slept in a hammock before? Mm, yeah. Now I'm on the ground. Glad I had my hammock. Yeah, I couldn't buy it one. So, so, so you slept on the ground? Yeah. Not, nothing came and nibbled on your toes or anything? No. Well, what else have you done besides I he heard about cooking? I've heard about building fires. Uh, what else do you do, have you done? So we're, we've been doing team activities within our groups. So we've climbed a 10, 11, 10 or 11 foot wall. It was 10 feet? <laughs> all right. it it's probably getting bigger as we go. Well, when you get back to school, it's going to be 20, but that's all right. Keep yeah, going. Yeah. For the seniors next year, it's 20 feet. <laughs> you know. Yeah. But um, so we went up that 10 foot wall. How do you then, how do you climb a 10 foot wall? You're only you're not. We used the person who was six feet. So. Ah. Yeah. A six foot five. Sorry. That helped. Yeah, so that helped a lot. So then they just. Pushed you up, two people. Two guys. Plus yeah. Daniel and me. Yeah. And try and help another guys and claim the floor. Yeah. So then another when the two guys more claim to us, we try and like drop the other guys yeah. without touching the. Because once you go up the ten foot wall, you can't go. You go down the eight foot wall, but you can't touch it. Ooh. You can't touch the wall. Ooh. So you can hold on to like the, the beam that's there, but right. you can't touch the wall. So you have to be lowered down. So I don't know if you want to. Okay. Oh, it's okay. I mean, you do pretty well. Oh, thank you. All right. Thank you. So that was one of your activities. What other yeah. activities do you, you do? The oh, the bridge? Yeah. So we just did the bridge today, and that was probably the most difficult. So we went to like a ravine, like with a little creek, and then we had to build our own bridge using like was it 100 foot? It was 30 feet. Oh, never mind. It was not 100. Okay. It was, <laughs> whoa, that was way off. Um, the <laughs> it, okay, the small herbs. So we had like this big, gigantic like cargo net from, apparently from World War II. Um, so we had to use that cargo net and some smaller ropes that were actually 100 foot. Sorry, I got them mixed up. And then, so it took us a really long time because we were just a bunch of people debating about what to do and trying to figure it out. <laughs> Do this. Yeah. The other friends like we should do that. So there's a lot of conflicting like ideas. opinions and, and ideas. When we are girls travel the age, like I have a question. What if you should try and do these trees or do this? Try and, like give us some help, but not the yeah. answer. Yeah. You can ask us questions to give us like hints. I don't know, Alex. Do you okay. want to touch on that a little bit? All right. All right. Besides the bridge, what other activities? Oh, right, <laughs> right. So we had, like, you know in, like, the stores, you see, like, the big cardboard boxes of, yeah. like, cantaloupe, watermelon, maybe popsicles. But, um, <laughs> no, some of them do. Yeah. Uh, but basically, um, we had to, like, build our own boat with that. So we had one of those big cardboard boxes. We had tarps, we had a bunch of duct tape, and we had ropes, and also two nails so that we can pull it across. There was a small, I would probably call it a pond. It was a pond, it was not a It's a pond. Yeah, but we had to get it up across the pond with one person in it, and then pull it back to the other side. 
and then keep doing that until we have seven people across. Wow, did, did, were you able to do that? Yeah, but uh, we accidentally did eight people, so um, it was more of a tie, because if we did the math, we technically won, but since we did eight, it's more of a tie. Uh, but you still had fun. Yeah, we had fun. All right, now... And after that, okay. our boat was the only one that was um, in shape after everyone was oh, using really? it. Oh, really? Yeah. Others just disintegrated, and that was it. Yeah. <laughs> TV. <laughs> That's great. Uh, in the morning, uh, is Pastor Buzz show up, or what, what oh, happens? Yeah, it was Pastor T Rico. So tell about what's going on for your worships in the morning. I think he shows up. Does Reed show up, too, or...? Okay. We did this morning. Um, we're right now. We're just talking about um, like the when when the end times come, um, and just discussing that and what will happen and what we can do when that happens, um, and just I don't know. I I think it's really good. We we're going over a couple packets that you read and then you answer the questions as you go. Um, but the reading material has just been really great and very thought provoking. So. so, so those those reading journals were worth it to Absolutely. for for them to have taken the time to get oh, yeah. the name. Oh, okay. That's a, that's encouraging. I'd like and, to know that. And also, their morning talks are really good because they help explain it. Like if you have any questions, or yeah, they just they okay. do really well with that. Well, good. Any other closing comments you'd like to have to the world? You want to say hi to your mom? <laughs> Hello, hello to my mom, hello to my everybody that I know. Now, of course, yeah. like I say, I, I have cards if you want to see them. Uh, I'm called Ramblin' Rusty. I have a YouTube channel. Wow. And uh, my, my son set me up on that a number of years ago. And, well, not a number. When I retired after 52 years, he says, Dad, you need something to keep you occupied, you know. Well, when I first started out, if you look at them, what my comment was, whatever I take pictures of, that's what you'll get. <laughs> well, this last year when I was out in Wyoming with a dino dig, some little 14-year-old kid, I was saying I was going to do it. He says, you know, you could put a title on there. You could put an introductory. You could add music underneath, you know. So since then, if you look at some of the first ones that I've done, I think I've done several hundred already uh, of many different things. I mean, everything from uh, buying a, a bread knife to uh, <laughs> here, here at Camp Overland, you know. And so, but I've learned how to edit. So I can take out some of the blurbs and some of the not good. Uh, and, yeah. and so, uh, anyway, it's, it's something fun to keep me, my mind occupied, you know. For someone 80 years old, you just can't vegetate all the time. What you got to say? No, I'm, oh, okay. I know I just tell her if I you want, if you, it's okay if I hold it for her, because I like her. Yeah, yeah you're fine. <laughs> that nice and helpful. Do y'all want to be interviewed? Well, come on yes, up. Come, come, on, come, come on. on up. Come on up. I want to get some ideas about this. I was, I was going to say, though, that, like, the senior survival has taught, like, most of us that we can survive, like, end of times, like, in the woods. Like, we're going to be fine. Like, no, the Bible says we're going to be fine, but, like, we all know we're going to be fine. What is the question? Yeah, j just tell me your name and sort of what you liked here about uh, senior survival. Senior what survival. What are you doing here? My name is Thomas Rogers, and um, so far, senior survival <laughs> has been a survival. <laughs> I have been well, trying to survive. Where's home for you? Home is South Africa. Okay, so this yeah. is all together different terrain. The other side of the world. Other side of the world. Yeah, so senior survival, I think it's been great so far. Just a bonding experience with everyone, getting to know everyone more, I think. That is great. We all need. So yeah. I feel and so, very good about it. anyway, I, I'm glad to come and help out what need be. And like I said before, one of the best things you can take into wilderness or any experience 
is an attitude. Yeah. What is your attitude? For sure. Are you, am I going to survive or am I going to die? Yeah, for sure. Get bit by a snake, they'll just, yeah, I'm not going to die. They <laughs> probably will, <laughs> you know. And, and another thing, we talked about uh, the thing of threes. All right, let's see, wait. Let me stop this and start it up again. All right. Yeah, yeah I, I can. That. All right. I talked about the, the the thing of threes. Oh. Right. A person can die in three seconds by doing something dumb and stupid. Yes. A person can live three hours without hypothermia. Hypothermia. And then. What's the next three? Three, three days, days without, without water. Three days without water. Three weeks without food. Three weeks without food. And as I mentioned, I could probably wow. go a little longer without food because I have more adipose <laughs> tissue to get rid of. But uh, anyway, yeah, this work but for the some main of us. thing for <laughs> out is how are you going to approach things? Are you going to approach it with a positive attitude? You have to. Or otherwise? You have to, or else. That's it's life. It doesn't have to be both. Yeah. Okay, I think you, you definitely have to um, go at it with a positive attitude or else I, you're, going at it negative, negative is definitely going to not benefit you at all because going at things negatively, I guess, you're probably your biggest opponent and your biggest Is yourself. Opponent. Yeah. I love it when people, I go to a store and they'll say, have a good day. Now, here's my comment to him every time it sort of takes him out. I says, that's the only way to have it. If it's not good, don't do it. No. <laughs> true. Very true. So true. But anyway, I'll, you'll everything. see more of me around campus. I enjoy being there. And then, uh, like I say, I have some cards of my vlog that I'm doing. I'm called Rambling Rusty. Rambling Rusty. And, uh, and so I do this. But anyway... This is Ramblin' Rusty signing off for now. I'll check in with you all later. Hard to tell where I'll be. Mm -hmm.